Uh, so, thank you all for coming this morning. Uh, today is pretty exciting. Uh, the, the governor of Texas, uh, Greg Abbott, has a bold uh, vision for the state, uh, for the state specifically in the area of public education, but, but broadly. And uh, so much of what we do to improve our school systems is tied to other objectives. Uh, for example, ensuring that we have the most prepared workforce uh, that the state has ever seen, that the country has ever seen, that the economy of this very exceptional state continues to grow at, uh, leaps and bounds. And uh, many of these goals are interrelated. And, and in fact, we're going to talk about one of those interrelated goals today, broadband access in schools in, and in communities, in fact, in the state of Texas. The, the, the prospect or the, the action of putting down uh, fiber in communities is often led by school systems. And this is sort of a, a little known fact. And when school systems are placing fiber uh, to connect uh, their campuses and to connect uh, their campuses to the internet, that's actually an opportunity for broad economic development in those communities. And uh, you know, this is a time uh, when we gather here uh, this particular week uh, because of South by Southwest uh, education uh, process. It is a, a way in which Texas is really uh, the, the center of the universe as it concerns uh, education innovation. I bring that up because my vision in reality is to ensure that, that Texas uh, is the center of the universe in education innovation all the time, not just during South by Southwest. And today we're ruling out part of that. Uh, so I can really talk over the cameras to the people uh, behind them and some people out in the hallway here. I really want you to see the vision of where I want to see Texas go. Uh, I truly want Texas to be the state that leads the country in innovation. We've seen this in certain sectors already. Think about what we saw uh, in the way that the oil and gas sector transformed because of uh, the innovation by Texans in creating hydraulic fracking. Uh, look at the innovations that we've seen in, in healthcare and life sciences uh, that have made the medical center in Houston the largest medical center in the entire world. And we're seeing replications of that in places like Dallas and San Antonio and even right here in Austin. We're seeing technology innovation grow and expand exponentially here in Austin, Texas and uh, in Dallas and Houston. And we're seeing results show up in our education system. I'm very proud of the fact that uh, if you look at the top 100 <clears throat> public high schools in the United States of America, Texas has more high schools in that top 100 than any other state. 